Today, we're exposing how hackers eavesdrop on Android phone calls, not to scare you, but to empower you. Think of this as your digital self-defense class. Understanding how attackers operate is the first step to defending yourself. Your smartphone holds your most personal information. Knowing the risks helps you keep it safe. Using these techniques to spy on others is illegal and unethical. Our goal is to help you recognize threats and protect your privacy. We're shining a light on the risks so you can turn your phone into a secure fortress. Let's get started on making your conversations truly private. Imagine someone listening to your private calls without you knowing. It's not just a movie plot, it's a real risk. Android's popularity makes it a prime target for hackers. Attackers can compromise your phone remotely, accessing calls in real time or recording them for later. Methods range from tricking you into installing malicious apps to intercepting your calls over Wi-Fi or cellular networks. Your phone's microphone, call logs, and conversations can all be hijacked. This isn't about fear, it's about awareness. By understanding these threats, you can take simple steps to protect yourself. Next, let's break down the most common eavesdropping methods and how to defend against them. Spyware is one of the most common ways hackers listen to your calls. These malicious apps often masquerade as games, utilities, or even fake versions of popular apps. They're usually distributed outside the Google Play Store, but sometimes sneak in before being removed. A hacker might send you a link to a cool new app. Installing it could mean installing spyware. Once on your phone, spyware hides in the background, using permissions you granted to record calls and steal data. It uploads your conversations and call logs to a remote server, all without your knowledge. Well-designed spyware is stealthy, using little battery and disguising itself as a system process. The result? A hacker gains access to your private life, potentially for blackmail or identity theft. All it takes is one careless download. Let's see how this infiltration actually happens. Let's break down exactly how spyware manages to infiltrate your phone and take control without you even realizing it. The process is often more sophisticated than you might think, and it can happen to anyone, regardless of how tech-savvy you are. It usually begins with a phishing message, perhaps a text or email that looks like it's from your bank or a trusted company. The message might warn you about suspicious activity on your account and urge you to install a security app to protect yourself. These messages are designed to create a sense of urgency, making you act quickly without thinking. When you click the link, you're taken to a website that looks legitimate, but it's actually a trap. Instead of downloading a real app, you're unknowingly installing spyware onto your device. This malicious software is disguised to appear harmless, so you don't suspect a thing. During installation, the app asks for a range of permissions, access to your microphone, contacts, storage, and sometimes even your camera. These requests might seem normal, especially if you think the app is for security. Most people, eager to resolve the supposed issue, tap allow without a second thought. In that moment, you're handing over the keys to your digital life, giving the hacker access to sensitive parts of your phone. Once installed, the spyware often hides its icon or disguises itself as a system app, making it nearly invisible. It runs silently in the background, constantly monitoring your activity without drawing any attention. The spyware is programmed to detect when you make or receive calls. It secretly activates your microphone, recording your private conversations in real time. You won't see any obvious signs that this is happening. After recording, the spyware compresses the audio files to save data and then uploads them to a remote server controlled by the hacker. This usually happens when your phone is connected to Wi-Fi so you don't notice unusual data usage. The hacker can then access your stolen conversations from anywhere in the world, listening in on your most private moments and potentially using the information for blackmail, identity theft, or other malicious purposes. Meanwhile, you go about your day, completely unaware that your privacy has been shattered. The spyware works so quietly that most victims never realize they've been compromised until it's too late. That's why it's absolutely critical to be vigilant whenever you install new apps or grant permissions. Always double check what you're allowing and be skeptical of unexpected messages urging you to take immediate action. In the next section, we'll explore practical steps you can take to protect yourself from these kinds of threats and keep your personal information safe. Remember, prevention is your best defense against spyware. Stay alert, stay informed, and take control of your digital security. Protecting your Android from spyware is straightforward if you follow a few key habits. Only download apps from the official Google Play Store. Avoid third-party stores and never install apps from links in messages. 
Always review app permissions. If an app asks for more than it needs, don't install it. Keep your phone and apps updated. Security patches close vulnerabilities hackers exploit. Enable automatic updates for both your OS and apps. Install a reputable mobile security app to scan for malware and alert you to suspicious activity. Regularly review your installed apps and remove anything unfamiliar. These steps make it much harder for spyware to take hold. Stay alert, and you'll keep your private conversations safe. Now let's look at another threat public Wi-Fi. Your network matters as much as your apps. Hackers don't always need to install anything on your phone. They can attack the network you're using. Public Wi-Fi in places like coffee shops is often unsecured, making it easy for hackers to intercept your data. Using a man-in-the-middle attack, a hacker sets up a fake Wi-Fi hotspot with a convincing name. If you connect, all your internet traffic, including calls made over apps like WhatsApp or Skype, passes through their device. If your call data isn't encrypted, the hacker can listen in. Even with encryption, advanced hackers can sometimes break through. The danger, you won't notice anything wrong, but your conversation could be exposed. Let's break down how a man-in-the-middle attack can secretly intercept your phone calls, putting your privacy at risk without you even realizing it. The attacker begins by setting up a rogue Wi-Fi hotspot, often in a public place like a coffee shop or airport. This fake network is designed to look identical to a legitimate one. This is what's known as an evil twin. It might have the same name as the real Wi-Fi, making it almost impossible to distinguish. When you're looking for Wi-Fi, your phone automatically connects to what it thinks is a trusted network. But in reality, it's now linked to the hacker's hotspot, giving them a direct line to all your internet activity. Every bit of data you send or receive, including your VoIP calls, messages, and even passwords, now flows through the hacker's laptop. They can see and capture everything in real time. Using specialized software, the attacker captures and analyzes your traffic as it passes through their device. This software can break down your data into readable information, making it easy for them to sift through your private details. When you make a call over Wi-Fi, your voice is converted into small data packets. These packets are sent across the network, but now they're being intercepted and rerouted through the hacker's computer before reaching their destination. If your calling app uses weak encryption, or worse, no encryption at all, the hacker can easily reassemble these packets and listen to your entire conversation. They can even save the audio files for later analysis. Even if your calls are encrypted, a determined attacker might use advanced techniques to try and strip away that protection. With enough skill and the right tools, they can sometimes break through, exposing your private discussions. The most alarming part? You won't notice anything unusual. Your call will sound perfectly normal, with no obvious signs that someone is eavesdropping. Meanwhile, the hacker could be recording your conversation, storing sensitive information like personal details, business secrets, or even login credentials for later use. This is why you should always be cautious when using public Wi-Fi. Avoid making sensitive calls or sharing private information unless you're sure the network is secure. Consider using a VPN for extra protection, but the risks don't end with Wi-Fi. Next, we'll explore how your cellular network can also be vulnerable to interception. Even your regular phone calls aren't completely safe from sophisticated attackers. Stay tuned to learn more about these threats and how to protect yourself. Hackers and some law enforcement use IMSE catchers, fake cell towers, to intercept your calls. Your phone connects to the strongest signal, which could be a rogue tower. The device logs your phone's unique identifiers and can track your location. Advanced IMSI catchers force your phone onto older, less secure 2G networks, making it easier to decrypt and listen to your calls. You won't notice anything unusual. Your calls go through as normal. While once rare, these devices are becoming more accessible to criminals. This makes even standard cellular calls vulnerable to interception. Don't feel helpless. Knowledge is your best defense. In a world where our phones hold so much of our personal and professional lives, taking control of your Android security is more important than ever. Every day, new threats emerge, but with the right steps, you can stay ahead and protect your information. Start by reviewing your installed apps and uninstall anything suspicious or unused. Many people forget about old apps, but these can become security risks if they're not updated or if they come from untrusted sources. Take a few minutes to go through your app list and remove anything you don't recognize or no longer need. Only download apps from the Play Store and scrutinize permissions. Before installing, check the app's reviews and developer reputation. After installation, review what permissions each app requests. Does a flashlight app really need access to your contacts or location? 
If not, deny those permissions or find a safer alternative. Enable Google Play. Protect and automatic updates for your OS and apps. Google Play. Protect scans your device for harmful apps, while regular updates patch vulnerabilities that hackers might exploit. Make it a habit to check for updates weekly, ensuring your phone is always running the latest security fixes. Treat all public Wi-Fi as risky, avoid it for sensitive activities, or use a reputable VPN for extra protection. Public networks are convenient but often insecure, making it easy for attackers to intercept your data. A VPN encrypts your connection, keeping your browsing, banking, and messaging private even on open networks. For private calls, use end-to-end -end encrypted apps like Signal or WhatsApp. These apps ensure that only you and the person you're communicating with can read or listen to your messages and calls, no one else, not even the app providers. Your defense strategy should be multi-layered. Control app installs, keep software updated, use mobile security tools, avoid risky networks, and choose encrypted communication. Consider installing a reputable security app for added protection, and always be cautious about links and attachments in messages. These habits make your phone a much harder target. Even small changes like using a strong screen lock and enabling two-factor authentication can make a big difference in keeping your data safe. Take action today, your privacy is worth it. Don't wait until something goes wrong. The sooner you start, the more secure your digital life will be. With these steps, your Android can be a safe, private tool in your digital life. You'll have peace of mind knowing you're protected against most common threats, and you'll be able to use your phone with confidence. Stay vigilant, stay secure, and keep your conversations truly yours. Security is an ongoing process, so keep learning and adapting as new threats appear. Thanks for watching. Now go protect your digital world. Your security starts now. Remember, every step you take makes a difference. Stay safe out there.